And we're back, peeps, with Batman Telltale Series. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Um, <clears throat> last three episodes, yeah, this is the fourth episode. Um, last three episodes, we had some character development with Catwoman, met her true identity, and turns out Harvey Dent has a thing for her. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, that was a spoiler. Um, anywho... Um, if you have not seen the other episodes yet, I recommend you just going back, and let's get into it with the next episode. Or, yeah, thing. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. Oh, <gasps> he's Your almost done. didn't raise you this way, and neither did I. I've heard this before, Alfred. Well, my words pass straight through you. There used to be a difference between Batman and the criminals he locked up in Arkham. That difference is shrinking. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family. You must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave, He has a weird shaped face. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. It's don't weird. Lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice <clears throat> falls on me. Who my parents were, the life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You Can't be your own person. Half them. Oh. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. Aww. That night, that alleyway. I never it knew my father. I, I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. Accept the tickets. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Yay, fray. It's okay. Oh, Back looks computer. like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Dun -dun. Mayor Hill was hiding... Puppies. Pictures of puppies. Could have imagined. Oh, no? This is a okay. complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms stealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. Some kind of blackmail. It goes back years. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. Wow. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Could we not go with both of them? Because that seems like a good idea. Okay, let's think about this realistically. We got Gordon, the good cop, who could do all that. We got, or we got Ficky Vale, who could technically clear our name and then help us elect Dent. Um. 
Or Gordon who could help kick the moon down. Huh. Well, uh, for whomever's watching this, um, pause the video right now, type in your decision down in chat, and let me know who would you pick. Would you pick the James Gordon who can mobilize the entire police force against them? Or Vicky Fail who has offered to help clean your, your family's name? So let me know what you think and why. So after that, press play on the video and we'll continue. All right, but I'm gonna pick, ah, oh, it's such a hard decision. Uh, I'm, hmm. Person I could probably do the most good is Gordon. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman. By any means necessary. <laughs> Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. Oh, snap. Poop is back, go down. This. This is a silver bullet. And it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. This isn't about politics. Gotham is safer with Falcone off the streets. It's a first step in the marathon to fix this city. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't going to change a thing about the investigation of your family. The Waynes always supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe no there's no attached. cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. I gotta go. Came straight from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Don't tell me Gordon dies. This city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're holding will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant? Hey, stick to Jim. Please don't tell me he gets in a quote-unquote accident it's on done. the way home. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. <laughs> well, I can always change in the car. Don't tell me. Is it going to turn into the, into the Batmobile? Oh, <gasps> it's turning into the Batmobile. So cool. I want it. I want it. So now he's the goblin. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. All right. 
good point of entry. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Oh, snap. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. And we're back. Sorry about that, peeps and dudes, dudes and peeps. For some reason, the game crashed, so we're just gonna pick up from about the same point in time we left off. Skyline Club, 919 p.m. And we find out that Batman's the Goblin. Let's find Falcone. Yeah, those two are flirts. Those two are looking talk about somebody. You make your round? Yeah, no broken bones. Still healing from the last time, I bet. All it took was a couple of C notes this time. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, my ass. I know you burned the powder at night. The whole city can smell it. Okay. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. Oh, 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 statue. Nothing here. That's the most heavily guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. Four armed guards. Stealth not an option. I'll put together a plan of attack. Stand by. <laughs> hmm. Couple of options for taking this guy down. Folding screen. All right, link to. Oh. We only have one option there. Yeah, that works. Alright, so we got... Staircase. Let me guess where I suddenly come through the staircase? Oh, that way. Okay. Going in. I'm going in. Very good. I'm going in. Your home. turn to crash his party. <laughs> Did it. 
All right, motion up for attack. Alpha dead Omega smack in the face. Q. 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 You can't mess with me. Boom shakalaka. Going down. I thought I was just gonna pull it down. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. Oh, shoot. Press A and D to use your hitchin blow. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Okay, it's official. I want this thing. That's got all the toys, yo. Answers now, or you fall. The chemicals. Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The white rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something freaks about this old thing. And it is a dead best. Still want to play games? We're all being played here, including you. Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the docks. Then who did? No, we're done. Gotham's watching now. Ah. Go ahead. Give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. Ha! Still can. <laughs> it's the 
wings. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You want to save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> hmm. That's weird. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! He just helped you take him down. Why do you guys hate him so much? Smoke could reportedly be seen from street level tonight. The Skyline Club, a high rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, who was found dangling over a 50 story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's Lieutenant Gordon. Alright, sorry about that. Hey, answer the phone. This some game. Oh, long time. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this brings me to the story everyone is talking about. The Wayne family. For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. And this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. In his defense, Wayne fired back, saying, This story about my family is exactly that. A story. It's a work of fiction all the way through. In a world where the Waynes, our golden family, are corrupt, who are we left with? Who can Gothamites look up to? The supposed hero Batman? Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Wayne's time in the sun is ending. This suit, the car, this entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built! created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Alfred! All right. Is that the end? That's the end. Uh, did you stick up for her being from Falco? You win 61.9% of people. Did you provide a quote for a fake story? Yes, 89% did. Uh, did you break the dog's shoe arm? You win 49% players show mercy. Really? Only 49.5? Alright, who did you give Falcon that to? So, after I post this video, I will see what you guys did in the chat below on who you gave the information to. Right, so, um,. Let me know if you guys would have done the same decisions as I did. Um, and if not, tell me why you chose what you did. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed episode one. Um, if you guys liked what I did and broke it up, let me know. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new. 
This is BK. Thanks for stopping by the show, and see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.